TNTM The Show presents the July Recap with your hosts, Pablo Gunner, Slay J, Marvin Goof, and we are here to talk nerdy to you about The Boys Season 4. That one's going to be a spoiler review. We're probably going to go a little deep on that one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share our content if you don't mind helping us out. Yes, and our grade scale here at TNTM The Show Talk Nerd and Me is must see, must stream. Check it out. Pass. Uh, have you guys seen The Boys Season 4? Not yes. Yet. Yeah. So back to political. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Political satire. This so is... I do know that this was written two years ago, so it's, it's just weird that it's lining up. The very last episode, they had to put a, a warning, Disclaimer. a trigger warning, mm -hmm. at the beginning to uh, say, oh, hey, there's some events that's going to happen, which is they talk about the assassination. They don't really show an assassination. It, it's, you know, it's it's not, it's, you know, they kind of set it up to where, like, okay, the, these people are going to be over here, and they're going to take out the president. You know what I mean? That was in the previous episodes. That didn't happen. It kind of just went off script, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's. I, I feel like it has gotten funnier since we did the last the podcast last, and how we brought up like, yeah, it's a little more heavy handed on making fun of MAGA, but it's not actually calling MAGA out, right? Like it's it's the satirical version. It's their own version in this show. But I feel like it's just gotten funnier. Like, but they are making and they're making fun of both sides. Like, they'll even mention AOC by name and talk crap about her. So to say, like, oh, it's one sided, it's not. You know. Mm -hmm. So they they really are, and that's what they've they even said. Like the vice president, they're like, oh, that's like their little AOC, which and it does not end well for it. It did not end the way I expected either. I no, I did no, it did not expect that to happen. Huh. At all in in that finale, like there's a you lot were, of crazy stuff. You that were happened. kind of expecting, okay, something. When are we gonna see Butcher and Homelander go at it again? That's not this season. They're setting that up for next season, which the, this one had a lot of juxtaposition where it's setting up for season five, but also at the same time you have this uh, this roadblock with Butcher's illness that's happening with him that's potentially gonna take him out. And then we kind of find out it's more of a mental thing. It's turning into a mental thing. And it's it's done really well. You're seeing, like, this metamorphosis of Butcher from the whole, like, pure-hearted individual. And now he's getting more kind of dark. Yeah, like, the pure is his 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 ex-wife or his wife yes. that died. Mm -hmm. And then, like, the evil one is this dude from his army past or whatever. Which is Negan from The Walking Dead. Oh, snap. Well, it's not actually Negan, but it's Jeffrey D. Morgan. Mm -hmm. It's a new character. He this doesn't have guy, a barbed wire bat or anything. <laughs> it's like the, he treats you guys like you're morons. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of multiverse stuff going on right now. I just want to make sure that people... Make sure I'm that there's sure not a crossover with Walking Dead. You know, that's all. <laughs> or that maybe Butcher just is a huge fan of Walking Dead. So IEW. <laughs> right? Was it IEW that does? Uh, IDW, yeah. IDW. Yeah. yeah. And uh, who does the boys? I don't know. They're, they're, they might be IDW as well. I'm not That'd sure. That'd be crazy. Okay, um, then, then maybe. They okay, could do it. They could be. I don't know. A good point, then. So, <laughs> <laughs> I retract. <laughs> but, yeah, it, there was a lot of crazy stuff going on, like the, the crazy sheep that could fly and were, like, cannibals and stuff. Oh, and then there was, like, the sex dungeon thing. That was nuts. You like, finally Huey get really to see. One. You finally get to see some booty. <laughs> Starlight. Starlight. Starlight booty. twice, right? <laughs> yes. We don't know if it's actually her. Once again, we talked about... It could, could be, be a stunt, but, but I don't think so. It was very oh, yeah. quick, so yeah. I don't think it was either. It looked pretty legit. I don't know. So This is for Nerdy After Dark. <laughs> 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 this specific. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll put this one. But yeah, it was... I mean, it was a solid... Uh, Huey really took one for the team for that sex dungeon. He really... He really took one he for did. the team. Like. He did. Oh my. I, I don't know, but or actually, Abby. I'd kind of, I'd hit that. I'm just saying. Huey? <laughs> no, actually. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because I saw someone refer to him as a twink, like on something, and I'm like, 
I guess, oh, yeah, man. that makes sense. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> the ambassador's gonna have to cut a lot of stuff. It's gonna be a nightmare for him. Um, <laughs> he's gonna be rolling his eyes the whole time. But <laughs> oh, oh man, but it, uh, it's it's done so well. I I was I couldn't wait for Thursdays to come by because this show was it, it it told a beautiful story in my opinion, and it threw in like. You know the gore that you want to see from a superhero, kind of gives that more realism, right? Yeah, this is something that's not been done, and I feel like with each episode it did get better and better and better. Like so, from where we left off, yeah, it just got escalated in so many ways after that. And you see mother's milk, which is skim milk now, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> you saw an arc in his character too, mm -hmm. like in his leadership, and then the dynamic between it was pretty much killing him, being. So he he has like more of like an understanding where why Butcher is the way he is mm. to be the leader of the boys. So yeah, because he used to give him so much crap and everything like that, and he and so now he understands. I mean, it, it was mostly mental for him because yes. it was like hives and he had a panic attack. So, but and even for him, he had that arc of like I have to do this because even if I run away from it with my family, this problem still exists for the world. You know, mm. so. And, and oh, A Train, that was a great turn. Uh, yes. You know, that was. I, I hope we that's see. A good, that's a good redemption arc for A Train. I hope we see him again. And they do a the great finale. job where, at the very beginning of the series, you know, the infamous, right? Mm -hmm. A Train runs into his girlfriend. And now he has that vendetta. Now, this season, him getting that uh, V for Huey's dad. That Just like the whole. And then him just. Oh, he, he keeps. He keeps do, uh, doing redemptive stuff to to get by, and it's 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 great, and it's gonna set up. I don't he 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 uh, he ditched town, but you know he's gonna come back. He's for a the, speedster. He's gonna come back and uh, help. Oh yeah, for sure. Totally. Yeah, when it comes down to it. Yeah, but I it is wait. a must see, must stream. Yeah, I I don't care about your political positions. Throw those out the window. It's just making fun of stuff that's happening for real. And it's not saying that one side's better than the other. There's no agenda in this. It's a good show. Just enjoy the story and and, ta and try to step back because I I feel like like he stated both sides are getting made fun of, and we should be able to make fun of both sides. So, again, I'm preaching again. So. Well, mm -hmm. as you said, this was made two years ago. Yes. So I think this just as a similar problem with uh, South Park is they said they made a season about our politics, but then things would happen that were the same or worse than what they had already made, and they're like, they either had to change it, or then it just wasn't funny anymore because it was just what actually happened because our religious, I mean, our, our political thing is so ridiculous now, you mm -hmm. know, that it's just crazy. It's just insane. Yeah. But yeah, I will say, because I said that it was only worth checking out before, and at that point it was, but after the finale and everything, it's definitely a must-see, must-stream. Gosh, I gotta catch up on stuff. Guys. <laughs> I, I need more money. Anyone got anything out there? We'll, right. we'll, we'll hook you up. Oh, we'll hook okay. you up. <laughs> so, if you want to donate some stars for him, yeah, know, that's you. Yeah, or whatever they call him <laughs> on any platform. <laughs> yeah, give out your Venmo and your whatever so people can Marvin get this guy. Up. <laughs> <laughs> so, probably gonna see a lot of Ninja Turtles stuff. Yeah, Ninja mm -hmm. Turtles merch from us. Yeah, so, yeah. keep an eye out for that. And uh, that's it for us.